Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with Digimon Survive game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So simply restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Still you are facing the problem, then uninstall KLight codec pack and then install VLC media players. So first of all, uninstall the KLight codec pack and then check if that does not work install vlc media player now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so if you have k light codec pack installed uninstall it so for this type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on uninstall a program now over here if you find k light codec pack uninstall it so make a right click then click on uninstall click on yes to allow and then click on continue uninstall it and let the uninstall complete now once this is uninstalled then restart your computer now restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game so launch the game and that should fix it but still you are facing the problem then install vlc media player so for this you can go to vlc media player website and you can download it from this link so go to vlc media player website download and install vlc media player this has worked for many players now still you are facing the problem then uninstall LV splitter now if this is installed on your computer so for many players uninstalling the LV splitter has worked so if this is installed on your computer uninstall this and then launch the game now the next step is to uninstall CCCP codec video pack so if you have this software installed you can uninstall it and that should fix the problem now this has worked for many players so it might work for you also uninstall and reinstall vlc media player so if you have vlc media player installed you can uninstall vlc media player from the computer so try to uninstall it make a right click then click on uninstall now after the uninstall again you can go to vlc media player website and install it install the latest version of vlc media player now the next step is to unplug secondary monitor connected to the computer so if you have multiple monitor connected disconnect multiple monitor and try launching the game on single monitor next step is to go to this location for this go to steam make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files this will straight away take you to the game installation folder open this digimon survive underscore data folder now open this plugins folder now open this x86 underscore 64 folder over here you can see this file that is avprovideo.dl so before you delete this make a right click and then copy this and you can create a backup so first of all you can paste it to desktop or you know just create a backup once you create a backup now you can delete this file now once you delete it restart steam you have to restart steam and then launch steam and then click on play and that should fix the problem now the next step is to but still you are facing the problem you can just copy and paste the file back to the folder so if if that is not working you can just copy this and you can go back to the game installation folder go back to this location and then paste the file back over here so first of all delete it and then launch the game if that does not work keep the file back now now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia on nvidia website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search scroll down over here you can see geforce game ready driver this is the latest one right now so click on get download download now now once the download is complete run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then 
put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to delete the saved game files now before you delete the saved game file let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress so if you agree delete the saved game files and then launch the game so go to file explorer open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data go to view on the top and then select show and then put a check on hidden items in windows 10 somewhere over here you will find view tab click on view and then put a check on hidden items and then you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open local low folder now over here you can see this folder open this namco entertainment folder and then open the digimon survive folder and here you can see save data make a right click then click on delete and once this is deleted now launch the game the game will start from scratch now the next next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program if you are using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings click on privacy and security if you have windows 11 then click on windows security if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now scroll down at the end here you can see manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in c drive select c drive now open program files x86 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder now open the common folder over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in e drive so open steam steam apps common and then you will find the digimon survive folder and then select the game exe file from here and then click on open now once the game is added over here now launch the game also open control panel and then click on control panel click on system and security now click on windows defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall now click on change settings on the top then click on allow another app now click on browse now again go to the game installation folder open the game folder and then select the game exe file then click on open once this is added over here now click on add in my case this is already added to the firewall now once you add it now click on ok and then launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on browse now again go to the game installation folder so steam apps common open the game folder select the game exe file then click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance and then click on save now launch the game next step is to verify the game file for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator for this again go to the game installation folder make a right click manage browse local files and then go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator click on apply ok now launch the game from here so make a double click over here and then launch the game now the next step is to disable steam overlay so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord now if you have GE Force experience running close GE Force experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking applications so if you have MSI afterburner running on the computer close MSI afterburner if you have revert tuner running close revert tuner 
so close all the overclocking application also perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services so put a check over here first and then click on disable all in my case i already did it that's why it's grayed out in your case it will be highlighted so put a check over here first and then click on disable all then click on apply okay you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description this will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Install x86 and x64 version. So click on x86 file. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on repair or install. So if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to love. Now download this x64 as well. So download this file as well and run x64 again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and let the installation complete now once both the installation is complete now you will see the restart option so click on restart make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version this is important go to the start menu click on settings now click on windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to disconnect multiple monitor so try launching the game on single monitor also disconnect all the usb devices which you are not using so if you have these devices or extra controller connected disconnected and then launch the game also if you have these softwares running close these software so make sure only the steam and the game is running the rest close everything including all the browsers also remove the undervolt so if you have undervolted your hardware remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to lower down graphics settings for this launch the game first now go to settings and then go to steam settings now if this is set to full screen you can select window mode and then turn off anti-aliasing also if vsync is on turn off vsync you can set the shadow quality to medium over here and you can also change the resolution so if this is set to 4k uh, you can try 1920 into 1080p or you can even lower down more now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so first of all uninstall the game make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and once you delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to different drives so if you have another ssd or hdd try installing the game to different drive and then check so one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.